Welcome back, everybody, to The Home Bartender with Anne. Greg is here again, back by popular demand. Hi, folks. Welcome back, Greg. Thank you. Greg and I are here to wish you the happiest of New Year's. Our little channel has grown so much this year, yeah. and I'm really, really grateful to all of you. I have quite a little fun group of subscribers, and I have so much fun interacting with all of you. I can't thank you enough for your support of the channel. Your comments, the like, the subs are so, so very appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, Greg, do you have anything that you want to add? Just uh, thank you for your support and uh, really appreciate it. And it does mean a lot. Uh, and it means a lot to Anne for sure. And then also just great job. The research you do, uh, everything that you write and research and do, you are very professional. Mm. It's very impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try this cocktail. Oh, it's interesting. Mm. We're making a silver mm -hmm. daisy today. It's a rum cocktail that has um, parts of the French 75 and mimosa vibes in it as well. I kind of think it's perfect for New Year's as an alternate to the French 75. So what do you think? I, I think that it has a lot more flavor and there's more depth to it. So it's actually going to be, uh, it's more exciting than a, uh, than a French 75 or a Prosecco by itself. It's actually really good. Yeah, I it like is it. really good. Um, I stirred it up because it's got Prosecco on the top. We're using rum in this. We're using a dry curacao. So I wanted to see what that tasted like. I'm going to taste it really quickly. <laughs> mm. It kind of incorporated a little yeah. bit more. You kind of get a little bit more of the orange. Yes, a lot. The curacao. It's, it's really nice. So let's go over the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it coming up next. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. So I am going to make this cocktail for two people, but at the end of the video, I'll put the recipe card that is just for one cocktail. We're gonna start with a half ounce of two to one simple syrup, one and a half ounces of fresh lime juice. Next, we have an ounce of orange curacao. You could use Cointreau if you wanted to, but I do think this cocktail needs that dry element from the curacao. Next up, three ounces of a lightly aged rum. Now I'm using Plantation 5 here and I just used up pretty much all of my bottle. So um, you could use a real McCoy 5 if you wanted to, or even something a little less aged, but this has a mild flavor and it's really nice in the cocktail. So the next thing is two dashes of Angostura bitters. Actually, I'm gonna do four. And then um, I'm gonna shake this with some ice. Let's strain this into our little champagne flutes. All right, it calls for two ounces of a chilled dry sparkling wine. I'm gonna use this Rufino uh, Prosecco because I actually really like it. I don't particularly care for champagne or really dry wine. I'm sure it would be great in this cocktail, but hey, it's my cocktail, so. I'm gonna do what I like. So let's get about two ounces, just top this off of the champagne or the dry white wine or the Prosecco, whatever you're using is fine. All right, so that is a silver daisy for two. Like I said in the intro, I think this is a great alternative to a French 75 um, or even just a glass of champagne, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's a, it's going to be a great New Year's Eve cocktail. What do you think? What's your final thoughts? That it has a lot more flavor than I expected it to, which actually, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the French 75 actually, but I this is much better in my opinion. I just think it has a fuller flavor to it. It's more complex. 
Each time I sip it, I get a little bit more. I get the orange flavor. I like the Prosecco on the top of it. I can see where a dry um, white wine would make it a little more crisp and just a little more yeah. right there. But for sure. I think it's great. So thank you again, everybody, so much for your support. Happy New Year to you all. Cheers to a great 2023. See you next year, right? Yeah, cheers. Cheers and be well. Be well. <laughs> Let's get drunk. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs>